Hello everyone, this is Chelsea from Those With Words. Welcome to the channel. Here are a couple of really fun vlog clips from the recent San Francisco Pen Show. And then afterwards, I'll take you to my haul. So first up is the Plotter USA booth and they have this new limited Shiranami leather. And it's a little earlier than the release date, which is September 6th, as you can see there. And it's this really beautiful dark blue leather binder. And so we got to take a look at that and that was a really special time. I also managed to get some of the blue paper as well, which was also a release that was timed with it. And here's a little clip from the Cute Things from Japan and Eric Small Things workshop, which was also sponsored by Traveler's Company USA. We got to see Eric Small Things, an amazing rubber stamp creator, create some of her stamp designs live. And this was a really quick demo, but you could see here just how detailed her work is and how amazing it is. And we also got to stamp some of her stamps onto our own notebooks. And that was a really, really fun time. The workshop itself also came with these wonderful goodies and I'll share more of this later. Um, and then there were also stamp ink pads as you can see there that we used to stamp the hand carved stamps from Eric. And this is the Cute Things from Japan booth. They came all the way from Japan to attend and uh, vend the San Francisco Pen Show. And I was just really excited to see them and they had tons of goodies on the table. And along with that, they also made this special stamp for the show, which I thought was so sweet. And it's this really cute San Francisco stamp. Also dropped by briefly at the Yamamoto paper booth. They always have really, really fun, interesting papers. And they have this whole memo box corner where you can pick up a couple of different memo pads of different paper and kind of create your own memo box. And so my friends and I tried a couple different things there and it was really fun to see the different types of paper. Also took a quick journaling break as well. This was the Stationery Cafe After Dark event on Saturday night and a couple of us got some boba and we just sat down together to journal and connect with others. And that was a really fun, relaxing time as well, a little bit away from the action of the show. Then I also got a nib grind for the first time at Pen Realm uh, by Kirk Spear. So I got a cursive italic on my Platinum 3776 in the medium nib. Then we also have here Tokubetsu Memory, our wonderful friend from the community, Judy, who also came all the way from Taiwan to uh, participate in the San Francisco Pen Show and so I wanted to make sure to stop by, say hello, and capture that booth. And right next to Tokubetsu Memory was Paper Treats coming from LA and also a wonderful stationery shop run by the creator and shopkeeper Mai. And so just wanted to highlight that as well since they were right next to each other. And on Sunday I finally managed to drop by and get a quick clip of Traveler's Company USA they were sold out of a lot of their inserts at this point, which is great. I'm really happy for them. They did really well. The table was super crowded pretty much all the time. And so this was kind of all I could get from the show. They also brought with them their series of stamps that you could just stamp anywhere. So there were tons of people stamping these things onto their notebooks or on postcards. And it's just a really fun time. I love that they share these special Traveler's Company designs with everybody um, anytime that they really can. And so there are a couple of really fun stamps that I also got um, separately on sticker paper. Now, welcome to the haul portion of this video. I am going to share with you all of the fun items that I got from the show and try to um, talk you through it. This is the Franklin Kristoff pen that I ended up getting. This is the only fountain pen that I ended up with from the show, despite, you know, there were so many amazing choices. Um, this was another Model 20 that I got. Um, I already have a Model 20 from a couple years ago, also from the San Francisco Pen Show, but this time I got it in their signature Signib that I'm showing you now a little card of. 
And it also comes with two small cartridges, which is perfect because the Model 20 only fits really small um, converters or cartridges. This is the body and I'm trying my best to show you just how sparkly and beautiful it is. It looks like the galaxy basically or the night sky and I fell in love with this design immediately. Compared to my older Model 20, it doesn't have a clip. They actually told me that if I wanted to add one, they would be more than happy to add it on and ship it to me. But I, you know, just said it was okay because I wanted to try something a little bit different. My older Model 20 has a needle point nib. So it's definitely something different for me. And I just love how this pen looks and I'm really looking forward to using the Signip. This is a beautiful pouch from Rickshaw Bags made here in San Francisco and I couldn't resist this beautiful California bear design which is so so endearing and on the inside it's got this really plush light blue um, and the three pen slots as well as an open wider slot on the other side and I also really like how at the front the design continues at the back of the front pocket and I got this to really just be able to carry around my fountain pens just a few at a time and here I am just testing it with three of my fountain pens and yeah I mean just as I expected it's really easy to put the pens in and take them out the inside like I said is really plush and beautiful and the zippers work really really well then I stopped by Plotter I actually went to Plotter first thing Friday morning because they were one of the few vendors that were actually open Friday at 8 a.m. for early access and I ended up getting the 2024 monthly and weekly schedule because that's what I'm going to continue to use as my personal planner for 2024. I also got this beautiful letterpress paper and I'm trying to show you the lines that are you know letterpressed into the paper and it's really subtle. I really um, enjoyed this when I got it from a friend as a sample and so I decided to buy the whole thing. This is an event only refill. And then I also got the new limited blue paper. This is really interesting. It's um, two millimeter grid with a quadrant design and it's yeah it's blue paper and so I wanted to experiment with this a little bit so I decided to purchase that as well. The next thing here that I'm about to show you was the big purchase from Plotter USA and it's this beautiful pen case in the brown. And I've eyed this for quite some time and I managed to wait until the pen show to really see it in person before buying it. And it has a nice magnetic closure and so you just let it go gently and it just snaps closed really nicely. And the leather is so incredibly soft. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just really luxurious, super soft. It also has this small zipper pouch at the end. And it just feels like the most buttery leather ever. It's just, it's so nice. And I really love this color. It's like a caramel color and I really, really enjoy it. I also wanted to make sure to test this one too, um, to see how you know easy it is to slot my fountain pens in there. And this one comes with four pen slots and just as I expected, there were really no struggles um, in terms of putting the pens into the case. And then I snapped it closed with a magnet and yeah, it looks great, it feels great. And I'm looking forward to using this as an alternative to carry out my writing instruments just outside, um, I have found that that's something that I've been doing a little bit more of. Um, and other than just like, you know, gel pens and such, which I still love to use on a regular basis, I also wanted to carry out my fountain pens more. So those are some of the things I got from Plotter. Next up is the Eric Small Things and Cute Things from Japan goodies. The first batch that I'm going over here were all from the workshop. So that workshop that I attended Friday morning of the show, these were all provided to us as part of the workshop. So first thing we received a set of wrapping paper and I wasn't actually sure what exactly they would be like until I actually opened them on camera right here. 
and they're exactly what it is they are wrapping paper they're smaller wrapping paper with these gorgeous designs and i believe some of them are specifically for the san francisco pen show later on i think in the designs that i show you there are san francisco motifs in it so oh here we go yeah there are the cable cars and the bridge and so I thought that was really cool um, that we got to have these specially printed wrapping paper. They were selling these at the Cute Things from Japan booth as well, if I remember correctly. But because I was a part of the workshop, these were provided to me just at the very beginning of the workshop. In addition to that, we also got this coaster and it was personalized for us um, the workshop, you know, when we registered for it, we were asked, you know, what name would we want because Eric is creating, you know, some personalized goodies for all of you. And I thought that was so sweet and it was a really cute coaster. I also got these two sticker sheets as part of the workshop and I ended up actually using the San Francisco motif one when I was filling up my insert. So that was really nice and just the perfect occasion. This one washi tape was also part of the workshop. Um, it depicts like, you know, fruits and other small things, if you will. And the flake seals as well. I didn't open those on camera, but you can see there all the different designs. And it's, I believe, a repeat of the washi tape uh, that I just received. And then because Traveler's Company USA sponsored the workshop, we got these two inserts. And I think the intention was for you to use Eric's stamps on those two inserts in case you didn't bring anything, but I ended up just stamping the heck out of my existing blank um, insert right here. And so not only did I customize the cover with the Eric stamps, but I also just stamped as much as I could, as much as my hands would allow because my hands and arms got really tired after a while. And I was also really careful with a lot of these stamps because they were hand carved. And then last but not least, here is Eric's business card. So those are all the goodies from the workshop, which was a lot. I thought it was really, really generous. And these are the goodies that I purchased separately from the Cute Things from Japan booth. So first up is this file folder. I just really like the design and also one of the things that I can really work on hopefully in the near future is just reorganizing a lot of my ephemera and papers and things and the like that are at the top of my rascal cart and so that's also what I want to use it for so I purchased that. I also got these really cute two washi tapes and they're just different designs. Um, they're both very much like in the similar color scheme but they depict different tiny objects that are really adorable and I thought it would be nice to not just to use them for myself but also to hopefully share them with friends in the future. Plus these two really cute memo pads, some more stickers that look like stamps. And a couple of postcards as well. Just showing you each and every design as closely as I can. And I remember grabbing these in a little bit of a hurry, but I do think that all of them are really adorable. Next up are my purchases from Tokubetsu Memory, who, like I mentioned before, flew all the way from Taiwan, made this freebie ticket, which I thought was so cute. And it's also now a part of my San Francisco journal which hopefully I'll be able to share a little bit later. I also got a number of postcards and stickers from this artist named Yu Yin. And I just really enjoy their art. I think it's just that, you know, drawing style that I find really endearing. So I ended up getting quite a few of those from like the postcard collection. And then the last one here are, are these just cats just feasting together, which I thought was so cute. And here is the creator name for that one. And then in addition to that, when I made this purchase, Tokubetsu Memory Judy threw in this little freebie bag with these stamped stickers. And I thought that was really thoughtful. So I hadn't actually opened this yet until I recorded this video. And so I wanted to share that with you as well. And then here are some really special um, art 
um, postcards as well. These were also freebies. And then this particular one is a collaboration between Tokubetsu Memory and Paper Treats. I received this because I made a purchase of over $30 USD at Tokubetsu Memory's table. And it's just this really cute sticker that says traveling is such a special treat and it depicts both Mai and Judy together. And I knew as soon as I saw um, the collaboration postcard and sticker that I wanted that particular one for sure. So. I bought these stickers to um, reach that limit. These stickers are basically just a bunch of everyday objects and food with faces on them because why not? It's really cute. And then I also have a more travel focused sticker sheet as well as this more abstract, um, you know, watercolor type of sticker sheet. So those are five total. And then I got, you know, like the postcards that I mentioned, as well as all the freebie goodies. So it was a great time getting to shop at the Tokubetsu Memory table, saying hello to both Judy and Mai. And yeah, just seeing them here was really surreal. And I hope they had a great experience as well. And that is pretty much everything I got from the pen show. And I'm just pulling everything together from the table. Thank you to anyone who came by to say hello. It was so hectic. I feel like I missed a ton of people, but thank you for saying hi, for saying you watched my videos or listened to Words and Roses and you know all of these wonderful things. I really, really appreciate everyone that I've met. I hope you enjoy this video of the quick recap and haul and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.